The city of Sturgis is looking to fill a void. Tonight, the Sturgis City Council will fill a vacancy for an empty Ward 3 seat. Brian Savage was in Sturgis to understand the importance of filling that vacant seat. A vacancy was created in the Sturgis City Council when Ward 3 Council member Preston Williams resigned on June 3rd. It uh, prompted the City Council to ask for applications to fill that vacancy and the deadline for that was July 1 and so the city received four applications. Those four are Rochelle Bruch, Don Lamfer, Christopher Peldro, and Francie Severson. The candidates will undergo interviews by the city council at tonight's council meeting. Each of them will have a chance to tell the council why they want to be the council representative and then um, we will have a vote and then whoever wins will be sworn in to, at tonight's meeting. On June 17th, City Council agreed that receiving applications was the correct course of action in filling the vacancy. The council didn't really want to wait um, uh, very long to fill that vacancy because, you know, the rally's coming up and, uh, and then they'll be budgeting for the next year. Mayor Angela Wilkerson made it clear that only council members will be asking candidates questions during interviews. If the public had questions for applicants, they could submit them to their ward representative for consideration. The candidate chosen tonight will join fellow Ward 3 council member Jim Thompson, who won a seat back in April and will serve his term until May of 2027. Williams had approximately 11 months left in his term as one of two Ward 3 councilors. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Brian Savage.